This is a quick update on the state of the art of our rich text component supporting learning items. First I'm going to uh, bring in some tweets and uh, some hypothesis annotations into this gallery. And I'm going to have a shared rich text document where I'm going to embed some of these items. So here we see uh, some tweets about learning and some uh, hypothesis annotations on learning. And here we have a rich text editor. So this of course um, is synchronous. And we can see here Different authors get different colors, just like in Etherpad. Uh, what we can do is we can take any of these uh, learning items. We can just drag them over here to embed them in uh, the document. We can also create new kinds of um, items. For example, we can create a spreadsheet. this over as well. We can uh, add an image. Okay. We can also add, for example, an idea um, attachments. So let's say our idea is um, design can become more sustainable and the content is uh, we need to support innovation and to support my hypothesis I'm going to upload a file So here we have a learning item that has embedded learning items. And I'm going to add this as well. So here we have a bunch of learning items. Um, we can delete them. I can undo the delete. I can uh, select this and I'm going to cut it. And then I'll paste it over here. While I'm doing this editing, the teacher can go into the dashboard and see not only what the document looks like live, but you can also go back and follow the whole history of editing, including inserting and reorganizing the learning items. And if we go to the next um, section uh, well it's easier to see the editors you can see that the collaborative editing works just fine also with these complex learning items i just deleted and undid my delete you can also change formatting of text without losing the author colors so that's the current state of the project the next stage is to be able to switch to edit mode directly in um, the editor, as well as switching between a thumbnail view and a full view. And uh, finally, it should be possible to create new learning items from this menu, just like I was doing in the gallery.